Okay, in this video we'll correct the first quiz we did on differentiation, which involved the power rule for differentiation, normals and tangents to a curve. So we can see we have the questions here, and well, let's go ahead and correct it. So to begin with, we're asked to differentiate the following. f of x equals to 5x squared. So we can go right ahead here and use the power rule for differentiation to write f dash of x equals to 2 times 5x to the power of 2 minus 1, which leads us to 10x to the power of 1, which we simply write 10x. The second question is to differentiate f of x equals to negative 2 root x. Now in this case, we'll start by writing this as negative 2 times x to the power of 1 half, and now we can use the power rule for differentiation. And we write f dash of x equals to 1 half times negative 2 times x to the power of 1 half minus 1. This leads us to negative 2 over 2 times x to the power of negative 1 half, leading us to negative x to the power of negative 1 half. Now we could stop here, but we could also go one step further and write this as negative 1 over the square root of x. The third question, we're asked to differentiate f of x equals to 4 over x to the power of 5. And again, we'll start by writing this as a simple power of x. And here we can write this equals to 4 times x to the power of negative 5. We can now use the power rule to write f dash of x equals to negative 5 times 4 times x to the power of negative 5 minus 1. That leads us to negative 20 times x to the power of negative 6. Once more, we could stop here. This would be accepted as a final answer, but we could also go one step further to write this equals to negative 20 over x to the power of 6. We're then asked to differentiate f of x equals to 2 over the cubic root of x, now, our first step here really should be to write this as 2 times x to the power of negative 1 third. And now we can use the power rule to write that this equals to f dash of x equals to negative 1 third times 2 times x to the power of negative 1 third minus 1. That leads us to negative two-thirds times x to the power of negative four-thirds. And we could stop here, or we could go one step further to write that this equals to negative two-thirds times one over x to the power of four-thirds. And actually, we can go one step further still to write that this equals to negative two over three times the cubic root of x to the power of four. We carry on. The fifth function here, we have f of x equals to 6x squared plus 1 over x plus 3. We can start by saying that this equals to 6x squared plus x to the power of negative 1 plus 3. And now we can differentiate this to write f dash of x equals to 12x plus negative 1 times x to the power of negative 1 minus 1, the 3 simply disappears. This therefore leads us to 12x minus x to the power of negative 2. And we can go one step further to write f dash of x equals to 12x minus 1 over x squared. We look at the next one. We have question 6 f of x equals to 4x plus 4 times the square root of x minus 10. And we can start by writing this as 4x plus 4 times x to the power of 1 half minus 10. And now we can differentiate that. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm going slightly downwards as I write here. We can state that this equals to f dash of x equals to 4 plus 1 half times 4 times x to the power of 1 half minus 1. The 10 simply disappears as we differentiate. And this leads us to 
4 plus 4 over 2 times x to the power of negative 1 half. This in turn equals to 4 plus 2x to the negative half, which equals to 4 plus 2 over the square root of x. And there we do. There we, there we go. That's exercise 1 done, sorry. And if we've answered these correctly, we've already got half the points for this quiz. The next exercise, exercise 2, we're asked to find the equation of a tangent, and the second question, we're asked to find the equation of a normal to a curve. So we'll start with the first one here, a. We're given the curve y equals to 1 half of x squared minus 2, and we need to find the tangent at the point p with coordinates 4 and 6. So given that we need to find the equation of the tangent, the first thing we need to do is to find the gradient of the curve at p, since the gradient of the tangent will be the same as the gradient of the curve at that point. So differentiating this, we find dy dx equals to, well quite simply here, x. And so at x equals to 4, dy dx equals to 4. So that's the gradient of the tangent. And we can now find the equation of the tangent by using the formula y minus b equals to m times x minus a, where b is the y-coordinate of the point at which we're looking for the tangent, and a is the x-coordinate of the point. So that would be 4. And m, we already know, m is the gradient we just calculated. That's the gradient of the curve at p. So substituting each of those values, we have y minus 6 equals to 4 times x minus 4. This leads us to y minus 6 equals to 4x minus 16, which leads us to y equals to 4x minus 16 plus 6. And finally, we can state that the equation of the tangent to this of this curve at p with coordinates 4, 6 is y equals to 4x minus 10. And there we go. That's our final answer for this question. For question b, we're asked to find the equation of the normal to the curve y equals to 4 over x squared at the point p with coordinates 2, 1. Well, in, in essence, the steps for finding the normal to a curve are identical to the steps for finding the, grade, the tangent to a curve. The only difference will be when we actually find the gradient of the tangent, and we're going to get there in a second. So we start by differentiating this function. dy dx is equal to negative 8 times x to the power of negative 3, which is equal to negative 8 over x cubed. And I should perhaps give a bit more detail there. The way I obtained this result is by using the fact that y equals to 4 over x squared, which I can rewrite as 4 times x to the power of negative 2. So when I differentiate, dy dx becomes negative 2 times 4 times x to the power of negative 2 minus 1, which leads me to negative 8 times x to the power of negative 3 which equals to negative 8 over x cubed. So that's how I obtained that result. Now that I know the gradient, or rather the derivative of this function, I can calculate the gradient of the curve at p. And to do that, I simply need to replace the x inside dy dx by the x-coordinate at p. So I do this next, at x equals to 2, dy dx equals to negative 8 over 2 cubed, which equals to negative 8 over 8, which equals to negative 1. So that's the gradient of the curve. But now the gradient of the normal is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the curve. So the normal will have gradient m equals to negative 1 over the gradient we just calculated. So that's negative 1. And that leads us to 1. Now that we've done this, we can go ahead and use our formula, use our formula 
y minus b equals to m times x minus a. And again, b in this case is the y coordinate of the point, so that would be 1 in this case. a is the x coordinate of the point, that would be 2. And m is the gradient, so in this case, remember, that would be 1. So we find y minus 1 equals to 1 times x minus 2. And I'll carry on over here. That leads us to y minus 1 equals to x minus 2, leading us to y equals to x minus 2 plus 1. Finally, we can state that the equation of the normal is y equals to x minus 1. And there we go. That is the equation of the normal to this curve at the point p with coordinates 2, 1.